Welcome to TechPress. Today, let's add to the cart button here into our store. Really, really simple. The very first thing you wanted to do is to sign into your Shopify store and go into your dashboard. I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description just in case you don't have an actual account in Shopify. Once you have your Shopify account ready to set it up, let's go here into apps. If I click into apps, I'm going to go into the upper side and search for the keyword of the application that will be helping me to add a sticky add to cart button. In this case, I'm going to go for sticky cart. And now it's going to be popping up this new section of the apps.shopify.com. What you want to do is to focus into something easy, for example, global. You can applicate for any kind of, you just want to make sure that the price is totally for free and has a really great rating. After I installed my application inside my Shopify, it's gonna be sending me into the dashboard of the application. Next thing, what you want to do is to install the actual app, tell them where you wanted to add the click add to the cart button. And here's my sticky add to cart. I enabled this from both desktop and mobile. Let's go for save and continue. And lastly, the theme integration. Now to the theme integration, what you wanted to do is to choose the one that says live theme, go for activate the app and beamed. This one should be sending you directly into the administrator of the Shopify.com. So let's go here into the lab pod where we have the app and beams and enable the global sticky art to cart. After that, let's go into save. And there we go. Now let's go a little bit back and go for saved and continue. After we have successfully done this, you can see that we have now the activation of the integration theme. So if you clicked over the into the activate in BIM once again, the process should be exactly the same. So enable it and hit into save. Once you're successfully done here, you have the Google Analytics, the face of pixel, the translation, and all of that. I'm gonna hit now into save and make sure that the benefit has now been uh, applied into my actual website. Let's go here into our store. Let's make like a quick comparison of how it was looking before into how it looks now. Now in my case, I'm gonna choose this website, check out how it looks so far. And I'm gonna to start to customize my sticky art to cart. As you should see here, it should be appearing my sticky stuffed. So I have the branded color, there's the branded covered color and so much more. In this case, I'm gonna go for something like this. I'm gonna hit now to choose. Check out how it looks so far. If you kind of like what you're seeing here, just leave it like that. If you don't, you try to change this a little bit more. Then later on, I have the overall. Now let's go for the position. And lastly, the icon. Here's my shopping bag. You have the card plus, there's the card arrow down, there's the shopping card only, and that will be actually it. I'm gonna to try to make this a little bit much more higher. And as you should see here, into the upper side, my sticky uh, card. As you should see, I have two of them. So let's say if I add one more, and there we go. So guys, the you have it. It doesn't look actually uh, that bad. If you want to undo what we do here, then go back into your applications, choose your uh, sticky global art to cut, and hit now into disabled. And we are good to go. So guys, just in case you have any questions, you can leave it down below in the comment section. Remember you have the links down below in the description of this great Shopify store so you can get started totally for free. Thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe guys. And hopefully we can all see you next time.